Yeah, whoa, I forgot. Uh, yo, yeah. Anyway, um, retiring comfortably before I forget. So, how do you do this? We need to divide this into two. Okay? The first is for people who are under GEPF. And that is because people under GEPF have what is called a defined benefit in their uh, pension fund. And basically what that means is <clears throat> the state basically promises to take care of you, long story short. Um, so if the if the pension fund doesn't perform, then basically, unfortunately, um, the states will have to, to um, chip in. And if the pension fund um, continues the way that they are, um, then it's not going to cost the state anything. So it's basically a guarantee. Now, that part is important. The second part, um, oh, okay, might as well finish up on that. Then, that guarantees you a certain level, but not comfortable retirement. It guarantees you a basic, decent retirement. A basic, decent retirement. Basically, you're not going to starve. Now, if you're going to get to a proper, decent, a more comfortable, decent retirement, then there are certain steps that you have to take added onto that. Because you're not going to have a, excuse me, a comfortable retirement on a GPF. You're going to have a survivable, a basic, maybe even a decent, but not a comfortable. So that that just quickly covers that. I um, then there are obviously steps, things that need to be done to put you in a position where you can have a comfortable retirement for a person in GEPF. If you're not in GPF, then you have to be a little more careful. Um, it's not that much more work, but just a little more, a little bit more careful in that sense. Basically, you need to do the things that GPF is already offering, but you need to kind of run ahead. Basically, what that means is, first, as soon as you start working, you open up a retirement annuity or a pension fund, depends on whether they offer one to you. Um, if they do, great. You push for it as soon as possible, number one. Number two, um, you put as much into it as possible. I think the max is 27.5% max, right? All of that seems like bull, but it's, it's super important because, one, whatever your budget is, you'll live within your budget. So make sure that instead of your budget being a bunch of expenses, it's basically a, a retirement towards your future. You'll thank yourself later. The next part is, if you can't really do that, you open up a retirement annuity. And then you have to do the research into your retirement annuities. Um, that can be another video if you're interested. But basically looking at how do you structure it, your retirement annuity so that it gives you the best upside. Remember, the point is this. The point is to put yourself in a position where even if you make a bunch of dumb mistakes along the way, high-risk positions, risks, investments, etc. Long story short, if you mess up, you're still decent. That way you can afford the risk of messing up. And therefore what's happening at that point is you're taking up opportunities. If things go well, perfect. If things don't go well, you're okay. That's basically what you're trying to do. Um, so obviously then, if you're looking at... So if you're interested in the whole GEPF idea, comment below um, how do we structure for GEPF and then we can go a little more into that. And if you're interested in non-GEPF, um, positioning, we can also go into that. But as I said, I can't make these long videos because obviously people are not interested in long videos on YouTube. So that's why I end up um, doing classes instead where I know that people who are interested are going to that online class specifically. So if you want like a class on it, then also just comment below, yo, can you hold a class on how to position myself comfortably for GEPF? Or can you hold a class on how to position myself comfortably for someone not working in government? And obviously we can then look into that. So I hope that this was informative and make sure that you don't fall for the hype. The the trying to get rich by the age of 25 and 30. Um, yeah, it's it's not that it's, it's impossible. It's that the probability of it happening is slim and... Generally, they don't tell you the full story.
if you're interested as to why I say they don't tell the full story, again, comment below. Cheers.